Now let's do something else to really make this use effect only for the update. One hack also we can do, we can create a state and this state we call uh, did mount and initially its value is false but let's move this above and when we really mount so we know this is only going to work on the mount so we can say set did mount to true so when we are mounting this component then we are setting the state of did mount to true now instead of having this is showing we can once again make it as a false because this is the initial value this should be the initial value and now in this i can say if did mount is true that means when the mounting is done then only going to log the app update let's try this refresh this app and now we have we you can see we don't have any app updated we have one more extra re-rendered because in our mounting we are updating the state that's why the component is re-rendering but it's not updated let's clear this click on toggle image and yes we have this app updated that's good but still we have some problem with this uh, this kind of way to make the use effect for update suppose we want to do something which is quickly after this mounting or in the meantime this set did mount has not completed its task then the update will not going to work instead what we can do actually we can use the use ref another hook so once again at the top i can go and we have this use ref ref is just for reference you can say and referencing some html tag or the jsx we have but here i'm not going to use the ref as the intended thing i'm doing it in a different way but later we will see the actual use of ref so here i'm instead of this state i'm going to create a ref so i can say use ref and i can call it mount ref initial value is uh, null or you can call it as a false initially okay and make sure you have imported it at the top just like this one then what we need to do we instead of this checking for the state we need to say if mount ref dot current current if we have this value true then update it else mount ref dot current is equal to true so see what what is going on here initially on the mount part we know this is always working that's we are going to prevent so let's let me show that thing to you we have the problem that on the mount part the update is working we don't want that so we are checking first when the mount run then it says that okay mount ref dot current the value of the mount ref is false so this will not going to log then it is going to it is going to the else part in this else part we are saying mount ref dot current is true then we are making the mount ref dot current value as true so after that after the first mount every time we get the value of mount ref dot current as true and we will log this let's try this and i will explain it once again so first time you can see we don't have app updated but then i can say toggle image yeah app updated once again app updated and we are we have solved the problem of app updated so i can call this as component will update so whenever this component updates this is going to work once again let's try this use effect when we are not giving anything 
is only going to work on the mounting part when the component mounts so here we have app mounted then when we define something some state value inside this parenthesis inside this square brackets in that case this use effect is going to work every time on every update and also on the mount part so we have a problem the problem is we are having an app update on the mount on the mount app is not actually updated it just created it's mounted not updated so that's why we have app updated which is actually a big problem then we have created a hook which is called use ref use ref think about use ref as a variable just for now not it's not a variable but just for now think about use ref as a variable and we call that as a name called mount ref to get the value of mount ref we need to say mount ref dot current so current will give you the real value so we are checking first that if the mount ref value is true then log so initially we have given the value as false so first time when it is running it get the value of mount ref dot current as false so it will go into the else part then on the else part we are making the current as true after that every time it will go it will have the mount ref dot current as true and it is only going to work on the update and that's why we don't have on the mount but we have on the update part of every component so this was little difficult little difficult to understand if you have any problem on this you can also write to me but i try to solve it in a very easy way and try to explain it in an easy way